Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to configure your keyboard and mouse so you can use that on games in the EPSXE emulator which is a PlayStation 1 emulator. So this video, even though I'm doing it on a Windows machine, is applicable for Windows, obviously, for Mac and for Linux. So as long as you've got EPSXE set up on any of the you know platforms, you're all good to go. So what you want to do is go to Config. You want to go to game pads port one this works if you've got multi-tap enabled and you have multiple pads that's fine as well so just select the pad that you want to configure and from here go to keyboard input and now we can actually start configuring the keyboard so what we could start doing let's say for the arrow keys literally just do the arrow keys on my keyboard um, say so we'll do x as in space and we'll do square as well so we'll do square to be square to be the other one alt okay so this is just because I'm just going to test it on a particular game Crash Bandicoot and I don't really need any of the controls other than those but again you can just go ahead and map rest of the controls and you can do the analog stick as well, or you can just go for the OG one like so. So the DualShock or the the original one. So that's fine. I mapped some of the keys and let me just show you this working. So run ISO. So I don't want Crash Team Racing. I want Crash Bandicoot, the original one. And I should have a state. Immediately gets me into here, so X to get to start, or you know, the X button, and let me actually get into this level. Really, only a few keys that you need for this, so jump and now spin. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I want to do the worst thing imaginable in Crash Bandicoot and just square the boxes that have more than one one per fruit that you can jump on just to get through the level a little faster but as you as you can see it is just working and yeah, i'm just using the keyboard like i said feel free to map all the other keys if you want to and you probably will depending on the game that you are playing and you'll probably map them differently as well because if let's say you're playing more of a shooter you might map them different to the way i mapped them for a an action adventure in a platformer like so it's not an action adventure it's just a platformer game <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying oh 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 So here we go. Let's see if I can get a gem on. Ah, oh, totally messed that up. So I'm gonna click yeah, the X key really quick. Yes. Okay. So in terms of mouse, and let me the game has not been turned off. Uh, let me just relaunch. Okay, so in terms of the mouse, the mouse you are pretty limited with how you can configure it. So you can configure it for the mouse digital because there was an actual. So if I if I actually go on to PS One mouse, there was an actual mouse peripheral that you could get that worked for certain games. So if you select this option and you can just map these keys, you know, regularly using your keyboard and you could have this using and um, your actual mouse, you'll just work and you can change the rumble as well. So DX joy won't probably be fine and like constant, constant. If you want to emulate, let's say one of the guns like the Namco g con you can do that. And this, the gun will just automatically get emulated by your mouse and again these controls just set them up using your keyboard however you want so that is how you use a keyboard and mouse if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message always make sure you click okay otherwise you know you probably will run into problems 
And that's it. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.